Who's our special guest this week on the Warwick show? Warwick Davis. It's Warwick Davis again. What? Um, Could you not get anyone else? It's Warwick Davis again. Well, I tried to book Kenny Baker, but um, he's rushed off his feet. Or he's dead. I'm not sure which. Uh, he might be dead. I'm not uh, sure. Should we check his Wikipedia? <laughs> no. No, it's not. Let's make do with Warwick Davis. So where is he? He's still alive, and he's 75 years old. Who is this, anyway? Can you believe Who that? Who is Kenny Baker? He's, he was the man inside of R2-D2 in the popular Star Wars uh, franchise. Oh, of film course series. he was. Do we... yeah. So, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are the only guests we have on this show dwarves? Well, I'm trying to get Bridget the midget as well. <laughs> Technically, she is a midget, not a dwarf. Yeah. Okay, well, Warwick Davis, um, can you do this now, or do you, I thought you had to do some washing up. Warwick's doing it. <laughs> oh, right, okay. I'm just doing it now, Sam. See, he's doing it. He's made a start. Oh, good, good. Is it alright to use the Daz? No, no, not the Daz. Why are you using the Daz? You're supposed to use fairy liquid. It's washing up liquid, not washing powder. I'm just putting the Daz in the sink. Don't put the Daz in the sink. I'm just putting it in the sink. What are you doing, Warwick? Stop doing that. <laughs> um, yeah. Right. Sorry, he's not... Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's not actually up here at the uh, moment. He's, right. he's downstairs uh, doing the washing up. Um, must be quite tricky for him because he's got, you know, stubby fingers. Yeah, you should ask him. Ask him if he's okay or something. I mean, does he need a little step ladder to reach the tap or anything? Hang on. Warwick! Warwick, how's it coming along? He says he says it's coming along all right. <laughs> okay, yeah. I could hear him from downstairs. All oh, right. Is there a wow. lot? Is there a lot of washing? I mean, how long are we going to be waiting before he could could join us on the show? Um, Warwick, how long do you think it's going to take? A little bit, maybe, maybe another half an hour, Simon. He says maybe another half an hour. Right, well, until until that time, I guess we'll have to fill. Well, he might be able to be back before the end of the podcast, so that he can give us a few, you know, parting words. Um, I mean, what you could do is you could think of some good questions to ask him, because the problem with the last time we interviewed him is uh, you couldn't really think of anything to ask him. Oh, yeah, I've not really um, written any proper questions out. I mean, I didn't expect yeah. to have him back so soon. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I thought you'd be prepared after the last time. <laughs> what the hell, Lewis? You've had a whole, like, week and a bit to prepare, and you're still not ready. I totally didn't realise we'd have him back on the show. We're going to have him weekly. He's going to be on every week from <laughs> now on. <laughs> Is he? Oh, God, what about our other celebrity guests? Can we not secure any others at all? No, it's just Warwick. It's just Warwick. I mean, he's quite, you know, he's free at the moment. Um, since he escaped from the little cage they had him in. Well, maybe Yognauts can write in and let us know. Um, if you have any questions for Warwick Davis, or possibly Kenny Baker, if we can get him. If we can get him booked before he dies. Because he is 75, he's an old man. He's probably not got a lot of time left. He's probably on borrowed time as it is, to be fair. Because um, dwarves don't usually live all that long. Um, some do. Uh... <laughs> But some don't. <laughs> so, if you have any qu- if you have any questions you'd like to ask Warwick Davis or Kenny Baker, um, please email them to yogscast at gmail dot com with the subject line questions for dwarfs. Okay. <laughs> oh, hang on. Okay. Oh. Hang on a sec, Lewis. Hang on. Help me, Simon. Help me. Oh shit! I think I think Warwick is in trouble. What's Warwick? What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> I love the way you're not getting up to go and help him. I'm going. I'm going down the plug hole. I'm going down the plug hole, Simon. Help me! Help me! Oh my god! I think he fell into the you sink. You gotta go and help him. Hurry oh, up! Um, but we're doing. We're recording a yog pod here. I can't. I don't <laughs> want to just leave. You've got to go. You've got to quick, or else we've got no celebrity what? guest. What if I think of something funny to say? I want to be here. Just write it down. <laughs> I haven't. I can't find a pen. 
I can't find a bed anywhere. I'll be able to record it from I'm rain. Quick! He's drowning! I can't find a bed! Quick! Help me! Warwick? Warwick? No! God! No! <laughs> oh my god! Is he gone? Has he completely disappeared? Oh god. I I don't know, I still haven't gone downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two little legs just sticking out, like waving <laughs> out of the drain pipe. Oh, I shouldn't laugh really, should I? It's a man's life. The thing is, like, after all this, like, you're gonna go, you're gonna be thinking in your head that the washing up's done, you know? And you're never, oh, when God. you go down there, you're going to be like, oh, shit, why is this still washing up? What if the sink's blocked? I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> what if the sink's blocked? I don't think a bottle... <laughs> I don't think a bottle of Mr. Muscle sink and drain and blocker is going to dissolve in the <laughs> Oh, God. Hello, and welcome to TTT. <laughs> Oh dear. It's terribly messy. Oh dear. I had all these questions lined up for him and everything. Oh fuck. I know. I wonder what will happen. Do you reckon he'll be able to... The thing is, it's, you know, he's only little. He probably just goes straight down the pipes into the sewage. Oh. He'll be, he'll be out down, down, down the streets of London through the sewers. He'll find his way back out, won't he? I don't know if he can swim. Because he's got very short arms. Of course he can. I guess fish don't have any arms at all, and they can swim pretty well. They do have gills, though. I mean, that is... I, I believe they do, anyway. It's quite an advantage. Oh. So, yeah, Warwick may... He may just drown to death. Maybe he, like, took took the, the washing-up sponge with him, and he can use it as a sort of flotation device. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh... Maybe he's got, like, a, a drinking straw, and he's going to use it as some kind of snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> because he's so small. Oh. There's a few things on the agenda. The first thing I thought I'd mention to you was, you know, that thing you do when you shake up a can of fizzy drink, and there's that apocryphal thing where if you tap it on the top, it won't, like, spray everywhere? Yeah, that's not true, is it, at all? No, it's totally true, actually. What? Yeah, it's totally true. So if I, if I drop a tin of pop yeah. down the stairs, for example, yeah, and then, and then I go back upstairs after having retrieved it, all I need do is tap the very top of the can and then pop it open, and I won't get completely obliterated Correct. by nasty, delicious drink. Do you know why that is? Why? So that's scientifically proven, okay? If you've got a can, or you shake it up, um, loads of air bubbles get stuck to the sides and bottom of the can, and when you open the can, they all rush to the top and pull, like, the, ca- the, the, the fizz, the pop, fizzy pop, out of the, the hole. <laughs> right? But if you tap the <laughs> it's can... It's a really good explanation. Yeah. <laughs> if you tap the can like this... It sh- it knocks them all off to the sides. They all rise to the top automatically. Then when you open the can, there's a little air bubble at the top, so it doesn't. Wow, s- it's clever, isn't it? This is amazing. What if this isn't true though, and you're just trying to get me to drink <laughs> a can of pop that I've dropped down the stairs? I open it up and I get soaked in cloudy lemonade made with real I was lemons. Hope- <laughs> I, it it is true apparently. I tried it just now and it worked quite well. Did you really like shake it up though, or did you just just gently jiggle the can before opening it? Well, I, out of I, fear? I, I, I did shake it. I didn't shake it up very well. No. <laughs> to be See, something we could have is we could have a challenge 
for every every yog pod we do, we set a challenge for the listeners. And this is um, this is the challenge for this week or this fortnight's podcast to uh, to shake up a can of pop, then gently tap the top a couple of times and open it's it. It's a good challenge. It's a good challenge. Okay. Do you have the we'll balls to do this? We'll come up with better ones. <laughs> But, yeah. yeah. What I'd, ideally, what I would like is to have um, to have a friend with a camera taking a picture at the moment in which you open the can. Yeah. Because you're probably going to be flinching, and if it fails, you're gonna we're gonna have like a, an action shot. A full spray going of the, uh, the delicious drink spraying everywhere. I think it would make for some good photo ops. It'd be good. It'd be good. I'm an old man, and I've fallen over. I can't get up, but it's all right, because I've got me iPod, and I'm listening to the Yog Pod. Oh, me back. Oh, God. Oh, God. We at the Yog Pod and the Yogs Cast, we like to inspire the younger generation, the people who want to be creative, to create podcasts by themselves, um, and to, to do their own YouTube videos and so on. And um, a, a fan of ours, a Yognaut of ours, has created a, a podcast with a friend of theirs, and we gave it a little listen last night, and... They obviously, they put a lot of effort into this. <laughs> they spent a lot of time thinking up about the, t- the subjects let that they would you, cover, Let me stop you, let me stop you. There's been a couple about. of yognauts <laughs> be- who tried to make podcasts, okay? And this, this is one particular pair from Britain. I think mm-hmm. the thing is, we had this sort of hiatus uh, for a couple of weeks. And people needed to fill the void of yogpods with their own creation. So some people like someone's created one called the Smorecast, which that she hasn't sent me a link to it, but I have. Well, it might be a man actually. He, I don't know. I can never tell. His name's Emil Og Loop. I mean, what the hell is that? Is that a man or a woman? Well, Emil Hes- Emil Heskey is a man. He's a he's a warrior. He's a footballer man, and he he's a man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so. So maybe I've got off track here. Yeah, maybe it's a manly name. Point is, name. this is called know. it's called the Jim and Jay podcast that we listen to. I want to look this up. And apparently, it's the second episode okay. that we listen to. I can't find it on iTunes. It's not on iTunes, Lewis. No. Well, it's. I'm, I'm really looking, and I can't find it. I can't. I don't know how to no, say No, it's definitely not this, there. But it's really awful, isn't it? It's really terrible. Don't ever do another one. It's rubbish. What are you saying? I loved it. I what? loved it. Oh, did you? I was laughing from start to finish. Um, they really did put a lot of work into it. And I think, they, um, I think they've got a future in podcasting. And I think that other people, other Yognauts, should definitely, definitely make a podcast. Jacuzzi, come over here and let's set your pub with me. Oh, Jacuzzi. Mm. We've got a new feature on the Yog Pod. Um, I don't know if you've heard about this, Lewis. Um, no. But the hip new thing that all podcasts are doing are they are they're doing um, prank calls. Um, oh. I listened to a new podcast called The Horn. Which is on iTunes. You can look for that. Right. If you want. The so horn. So that's done by your friends, right? Um, no, I don't know any of the people involved in it, actually, Lewis, and I've never met them. You... They're James's friends, though. Yes, they're they're my housemates' <laughs> friends. Um, and the the idea of the horn is that they actually have a horn as they record, and they honk the horn. And if that wasn't fresh enough, okay. they also do prank calls. They have this um, okay. this feature called um, Where's Steven Seagal? 
and they phone up takeaway establishments and they ask if Steven Seagal is there and he isn't but because the people who run the uh, the said establishments are foreigners and can barely understand English they don't quite understand what's going on and that's where the humour comes from it inverted commas I see so on the Yogpod we're doing the same thing we're doing prank calls are we? Now. yeah here's one I recorded <laughs> earlier um yeah I think you'll find this is quite funny here we go hello is Jason there? no Jace, Jason's not in at the moment are you sure? yeah yeah he's, he's, he's nipped out to buy some buy a tin of beans well this is the VD clinic Tell him that he has to call us immediately. The V, the VD clinic. Yes, it's the VD clinic. Oh dear! Oh, I hope everything's all right. Well, I can't discuss that over the phone, but he's positive. Oh, oh my! <laughs> Is it like that? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you recorded that. Beep beep boop 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 beep 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 boop boop boop. This is your iTunes speaking. Thank you for downloading Yogpod. I enjoy listening to Yogpod. Thank you. Beep, 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 boop, boop. Some people are writing in thinking there's some sort of weird conspiracy because in the last podcast, when I said the word 1956, it was exactly 19 minutes and 56 seconds into the podcast. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> that's spooky. Holy shit. Is this real? Yeah. Like, I didn't wow. do that differently. It's a bit weird, isn't it? I don't know why it was a conspiracy it would be, though, but a couple of people have mentioned that. It's the 1956 cool. conspiracy. That's what we're going to call our secret society that we start. The Yogpod's secret, ultra-secret, secret society of secrets. That's what it's going to be called. Okay. But for short, we'll call it the 1956 Club. Okay. It's kind of like the 18 to 30 Club, <laughs> but it's the 1956 Club. Shall I, like, club. try and um, you have to be between build more the, cons- you have to be conspiracy be- things into you, the yog? Yeah. You, 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 you have to be between... But, but, you have to be between the ages of 19 and 56 to be a member of the club. Okay. So, Rasmus, you're not allowed in because you're only 13. Little freak. Uh, <laughs> who? <laughs> He's the person who I added as a friend on Facebook. Oh god! And he um, he sends me really weird messages, and it makes me feel uncomfortable. Okay, shall we go through some more letters from the Yognauts? Well, we could do, seeing how we've got basically no other content or anything else to talk about. <laughs> um, go on then. What do you mean, go on then? You're the one who's do the jingle. Oh, right, uh... Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I've just got to psych... There's a bit of cross wires there. i just got to psych myself up for this. Letters from the Ogno... No... No... Okay. This is what from... No. S- this is from Simon no. Sherp. He says, Hi, Lewis and Simon. I've been listening to the Yogpod for a while now. Blah, 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 blah. The reason for my mail is that recently I have been... Sometimes I whistle when I say... Say, did you hear that? Yeah, what was going on there? Have you got a gap in your teeth? (laughs) No, I haven't. The reason for my mail is that recently I have been (laughs) re-watching... Recently, recently... I have been... I can't even do that. (laughs) Re- Lee. <laughs> I have been reading. So what's he been up to re- recently? Oh, for God's sake. He's been trying to... Letters <laughs> from <laughs> the Hawk Nords. Nords, Nords, Nords. This is from someone called Dave Yognort. He writes... Oh no, hang on. His name... Okay. <laughs> I have been following you guys on blah 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 blah. This is the first time I am writing in the long time that I Oh for God's sake, do you read <laughs> let me read this Yes you're fnat this to us 
Okay, this is the kind of email we get. We've told you before, try and be a bit more concise. Okay, I'm going to read this whole thing out. Howdy folks down at the Yogcast Corporation, or what's not. I have been following you guys on YouTube before the podcast even came into existence, and I have to say I have loved every mind-melting second. But I am not messaging you with just the repetitive praising you guys probably already here every day. I have a question. This is the first time I am writing in in the long time that I have been listening to you guys, and oh here my it is. God, what what a load of preamble! <laughs> so he's already written an enormous load of shit that he said he wasn't going to write. Can you imagine before he even gets the? Can you imagine if someone phones you up and you pick up the phone and you go hello, and that's what they say without taking a breath. <laughs> Without any pause. I know. Hello, I am just calling to say that I like you, and I listen to you a lot, and I wish to say that you people there are really good, and I like you a lot, and you're lovely, and I would like to say how lovely you are. You're lovely, and I want to say hello to you, so hello, and without wasting any more time, hello. (laughs) That's exactly what it's like. Okay, so he finally goes on to the question, and it is... Do you guys ever had any major fights with one another, either on or haven't posted it, or off recording? I ask this because as of late, it seems that you guys seem more aggressive towards each other when you guys joke with each other. Ooh, or maybe it's just he's, my imagination. I think he's, you know, he's found, he's found out something, he's caught something there that perhaps we didn't realise ourselves. I don't think, well, to think answer in, truthfully, we had a lot of arguments during the D&D thing, mainly with Hannah. In fact, it wasn't me and... It was, it was after the D&D thing. Hannah got a bit upset with us, didn't she? Mm. But we've Things never really very fallen tense. out. But that was a long time ago, we've never, really, wasn't it? It was. It was. Ago. We're quite good, aren't we, friend? If you say so. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> well, I can't speak for Simon, but I think we're still... Well, what, well, well, but I, I, I'm mm-hmm. trying to. I, uh, our Australian number one listener, called Ayrton Sheehan, has written in. He says, "I need to ask you a favour. Please prove that this email address goes somewhere, please, and send some form of reply." I suppose I could have just returned his email rather than reading it out on the show. I'll reply. No, I'll no, reply. just respond on the podcast. I'll reply here, dear Ayrton. <laughs> Ayrton, like Senna, the racing driver. Many thanks for writing in. I hope you get hit by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of love. Lewis. Okay. X. 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 So one thing me and Simon typically do on the show, this is like behind the scenes. I thought we could do like a little feature of behind the scenes where we tell like interesting anecdotes about making the show. Um, so one of the things we do to test that... Um, Ventrilo isn't like lagging for one of us. Is um, I say I'd rather have a bowl of, and then Simon says, "Coco pops." Right. So that 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 was used, I think, by someone else, like by Russell Brand or someone on their show, a long, long what? time ago. Was it? I think that's that's where I very originally got it from. Um, oh, what? Because they use the same thing professionally in the BBC. The BBC, it's like a, it's like a standard way of doing things in the BBC. It's like taught to people in school. <laughs> Is it really? In film school and radio school. <laughs> they teach you that. <laughs> oh, God. See, the original one that Americans would be familiar with is the, uh, the, the Marco. I don't Marco. really understand that. But the thing is, Marco. it has to be like a, a s- Marco. No, but the point that doesn't really work because it doesn't Marco. tell you how how laggy you are. Does Marco. It? it doesn't work. Marco. Not say Polo. Hey. Because really we've got some weird. We've got some weird time now. I think you're lagging really badly, Lewis. <laughs> 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 you're <a> fuck. <laughs> oh. Another thing we've been doing recently is, um, I I started, it's all me, is I was lagging really, really badly 
whilst we were trying to... Because you were torrenting. Yeah. Well, you can't say that. You can't tell people that I torrent. I'm oh, sorry. I mean, oh, I was you, torrenting... You, you were um, downloading. Li- licensed free open source software. Linux. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> some open Ubuntu. source... Ubuntu. Yeah, yeah. Ubuntu. And, um... I don't know so what yeah. that is, but it sounds cool. Anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> Ubuntu, Ubuntu, they drink it in the... Oh dear, that's terrible, can't use that. <laughs> Were you going to say c*** <laughs> to? <laughs> yeah, I was. You didn't realise. <laughs> <sighs> nice work. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, they drink it in the... Oh, 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 I can't, I can't use that. Oh, that's, that's rude. So yeah, I've been doing this thing where if I'm lagging horribly, um, I play the theme to Back to the Future into my microphone. So this was what happened. And from a distance. The other day. I yell out, help. This is what, this is what I heard when I came onto Vent and Simon was lagging really horribly. Now, strictly speaking, due to copyright, you should only play like the shortest kind of like clip of that music. Anyway, are there any little? Oh, well, we'll save any other industry secrets for uh, next time. For next time on this new feature mm-hmm. behind the yog pod. And here's a here's a little teaser that. about what we'll be talking about next time. Sometimes, uh, when we record the the podcast, um, and if I need to, I I scratch my balls. <laughs> so we'll look forward to to hearing more from that <laughs> next time on behind brilliant. the yog pod. Well, I can't wait for that feature. That's going to be brilliant. Warwick Davis has gone missing. The show's going to feature ball scratching. Yeah. Oh, We've covered man. how to open a tin can without it spraying everywhere. What we should do is we should go back in time and save Warwick yeah. Davis from doing the washing up so that he doesn't die and go down the plug hole and stuff da, and drown da, in sewage da, underneath London. It'd be like that. Obviously, that's that wasn't actually Warwick Davis. That was me trying to impersonate that Warwick a, Davis. No, that was a that was a a a a a, a, a reconstruction. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, that's exactly. I it. was it's struggling like you would find the word on a there. Crime Watch. <laughs> it was a a, 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 a reconstruction. Yeah. Mummy, mummy, can I listen to the yoga pod? Fuck off. Mummy, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, obviously, that's J.K. Rowling and a child. <laughs> <laughs> Island Paradise at the moment is having a few problems, right? And they have an official statement: supporters working very hard and fast as they can to answer tickets, and they're currently shifting through over thirty thousand tickets. Oh my Jesus gosh! Why have they got so Christ. many tickets? Because they got fuckloads of users, and the game... They had a server crash. It's crazy. I mean, people have spent hundreds of... Well, dollars. Probably hundreds of pounds as well. On the, uh... The premium currency to buy the items and stuff. What? what I mean, can you believe that? Weren't they selling them in, like, American stores as well? Yeah, in Target. I think that's crazy. That is crazy, because it's What's a... Target? It's a game What is that's... Target? I don't know what that means. It's a store. It's a yeah, but why would brand you go in stores. there? What do you buy from there? Is it the equivalent of like PC World? Or what? Um, no, it's just a big kind of anything. It's like a Woolworths or something. That's probably a good example. It's like Woolies. Have you spent any money on the old? Um, you buy a bit of everything there. Island Paradise. Just a one pound twenty-two from the Yog Pod. What? In order to send myself a chocolate bar. <laughs> what do you mean? It was through the affiliate thing. By spending that money to get a chocolate bar delivered to my door, I got extra, like, 
po- credit points. So things. you got credits on Island Paradise, and you got a chocolate bar delivered. I know house. it's just win-win, isn't it? Your actual house. What the hell? Yeah, there's um. Amazing. I told you about this fucking thing. <laughs> oh god. For those of you too lazy to walk across the street to the shop <laughs> to order a chocolate bar. Did it like come in like an envelope? What it kind did. Of chocolate bar was it? It did. On parcel genie. I can't genie. imagine many chocolate bars fit into an envelope shape. It's called parcel genie. Type into Facebook parcel genie. Okay. Right. The prices have gone up now. It's now one seventy five to send a whisper I've gold. Got a, a person called Marcel Genie. That's not the right thing, is it? No. It's not coming up. Parcel Genie, one word. Oh, one word. Okay, applications. Parcel Genie. So we can actually send stuff. People people can send stuff to, to us. People <laughs> on Facebook. Uh, you, they don't need to know your address. You just get a request via Facebook oh, that I someone see. wants to send you a gift. If you accept it, you then fill in your delivery information and the payment from them goes through and you get a delicious whisper gold delivered. Delicious. Well, shall we send Yognor a gift? Well, one thing I was thinking of doing was this sort of executive producer thing where the um, the listener who donated the most money to us since the last podcast um, mm. is like an executive producer on the show. Oh, my God. And they get something, something nice, like some sort of special merchandise or something. They get a whisp of gold, um, and obviously this whole, the whole parcel genie thing might might work quite nicely. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, who is the executive producer on this? The last, the latest show. We haven't had any donations for a long, long time. The fact that the donation button is hidden under the tab for mm. donate. So no one's actually donated anything at all. Don't think so. I'll check. So there's no executive producer. Ah, we had a donation. From Ryan Calhoun. Um, he donated five pounds. All right. Well, so that means Ryan Calhoun is yes. the Ryan Calhoun, as the only person who's donated this month. Um, you are executive producer of this Yog Pod. Congratulations! I bet you feel pretty proud of yourself right now. And they said. That you would never amount to anything. And by they, I mean, you know, your parents, your friends, people who just pass you on the street. You know, everyone. Just everyone. Never thought you would amount to anything. So what this means is that he's actually going to go on a list. And when we produce something awesome, like a CD or something really exclusive, uh, he's going to get one. He's going on the list of executive producers. <gasps> he gets special stuff, basically, sent to him. <gasps> um, oh, my God. The executive producer for this month. There you go. I'll make sure he gets something nice in the post. Uh, I guess if you, if he's PayPal'd you money, he might have his address on there. Will he? Otherwise, uh, we'll just send you an email, don't worry, because PayPal keeps your email, doesn't it? So we'll keep track, don't worry, friend. Um, I've got his address, but he's in the US. It's not a problem. In uh, Colorado. Colorado Springs? Nice place. Not Colorado Springs, just Colorado. Oh. What's the difference? Um, I don't know. I don't know what Colorado Springs is. <laughs> um, okay, then. <laughs> you brought it up. You just brought it up. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, Colorado Springs is the, the capital of Colorado. It's like a, It's like the biggest town in Colorado. So, hello. He might not live in Colorado Springs, actually. No. He might live in Denver. Well, I know he doesn't. He doesn't live there. I've got his full address here. I'm not going to say what, it. Is it in Denver? Look, no. <laughs> Someone might try and stalk him. If you put this in the podcast, people might try and find him. Oh, yeah. They know his full They're name. they to stalk him with the name Ryan Calhoun, comma, Colorado. Well, yeah, they might be able to track him down. On the Googles. Ryan Calhoun, Colorado. I don't want him to get into trouble for just giving us five quid to help pay for our, our massive overheads that we have for running a podcast. We've got, you know, all this equipment and the mixer desk. 
<laughs> these expensive um, microphones and uh, things. All this high tech. Softwares. Yeah. The the audio room that we we've built. So anyway, uh, thank you very much. I'm Simon's uncle, and when I'm not running away from spiders and farming and cleaning up pig street, I like listening to the yog pod. Shall we send one of the yognauts something? You just want to use it now. You're like, oh god, I've got to use this for something. It's so cool. A Union Jack mug. That's quite an expensive item. What? After dinner willies. Are they like mints, but willies? Um. <laughs> yes, yeah, in the shape of a willy. Borat's mankini, you can send. <laughs> oh, Is oh. that? You haven't done that for a few years. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Oh. Is nah. A dib yeah. dab. You can send a sherbet dib dab. Oh god. Wow. Yeah, the chocolate and things, they're sort of like retro. They are, aren't they? I like this. This is a cool idea. Sorry, so I was talking to you about trying to end this podcast. Um, Should I send. Oh. I'm just a little bit oh, worried because right, okay. we've sort of left it on a bit Sorry. of a cliffhanger. You know, is Warwick Davis going to make it? Is he going to be all right? We just don't know. Um, well, people will have to tune in next time. And find out. Same bat time, same bat channel. Oh, no, no, no. Same yog time, same yog channel. Yeah, that's right. We had, um, <laughs> last night we had, <laughs> I guess it was like the first yog pod meet up. <laughs> yog pod. And about, yog pod. about 30 people yog turned pod. up to this meet up. Yog pod. Na 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 na. Yog pod. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> about 30 Sorry. people turned up. Um, yog noughts. And we played TF2 and we had a bit of a chat. And Mulchy played the song live, and uh, some 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 kindly yognaut, I think called I think it was, I think it might have been totally moo, gave out like uh, eleven beta keys to Hon, which was nice. It was just all very mm. nice and amiable. There wasn't any creepy stuff going on. It was quite chilled. I just the thing is you weren't there because you had a dinner party. Yeah, I was there to start with, but then I had to go and eat dinner and get drunk. So, I mean, I, like, had to hold the fort kind of thing. I sort of just waffled on for ages. And then the evening started... <laughs> People started leaving. <laughs> started to take a turn for the worse. <laughs> so that was good. I think we'll have to do similar events in the future. Um, yeah. I was saying things like, you know, giving people sneak peeks of what we're going to be doing in the future and uh, stuff like this. Oh, God, really? To look forward to, yeah. So now you, you have to deliver on that now. Well... No, you have to do those things. <laughs> Maybe. You've painted yourself into a corner. Like the Tomb of Horrors uh, D&D thing, Yogpod. Oh, Jesus. I mentioned yeah. that, that might be happening. So, yeah. I'll just leave it there, shall I? That's, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? I'm literally on the edge of my sh- sheet, I almost said. I'm literally on the edge of sheeting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... Thanks for listening. It's, it's, oh shit, you're is, recording uh, all this. Fuck. Yeah. Na, 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 na. Were you recording all of that as well? Yuck, fuck. Yeah, you just. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I was just arsing around. I didn't realise. Oh, fuck. You're listening to the Yog Pod. No, no. You, you were listening to the Yog Pod. But now you soon won't be because it's ending. <laughs> Goodbye. Right, we'll leave that. That'll be the end. Really? That's brilliant.